Happy Sabbath, everyone. I hope that everyone is doing well. I just wanted to encourage you today, right now, as you listen to this uh, video. So God wants to give you perfect peace, friends. So let's just read that. Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3, look what it says. It says, thou will keep him in perfect peace. Then it has a clause. It says that whose mind is stayed on thee. So in order for us to be kept in perfect peace, our mind has to be stayed upon God. Then it says, because he trusteth in thee. Do you trust in the Lord, friends? Do you trust like Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 and 6 say? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him. The promises that he will direct your paths. Are you trusting in the Lord with all thine heart, friends? Then you may be able to obtain perfect peace, but our mind has to be stayed upon Christ. And what is another text that gives us enlightenment of what it means to have our mind stayed upon Christ? Psalms chapter 1 and verse 2. It says, but his delight, our delight, is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Friends, I submit to you that this is the same thing as our minds being stayed on thee, our minds being stayed upon God day and night, all throughout the day. Our mind has to be stayed on God. But we know that from Exodus 33, 18 and 19, where Moses was saying, Lord, show me thy glory. Speaking about uh, God's law when he was receiving the Ten Commandments. And in Exodus 34 and verse 6 and 7, where God proclaimed his name. So, the law is a transcript of God's character. And so with that, our delight is in the law of the Lord or our delight is in the character of God. And in the character of God, in the law, doth he meditate day and night. This is what it means to be stayed upon Christ. Stayed upon God is meditating day and night on the character of God. Seeking to be more like Jesus, friends. And then we can find we may be able to be kept in perfect peace. Perfect peace, friends. Do you want that? Do you remember when Peter was beckoned to come and walk on water as long as his mind stayed upon Christ, as long as his eyes stayed upon Christ, as long as his heart stayed upon Christ, he would be kept in perfect peace because he trusted in the Lord. But as soon as he, his mind was not stayed on Christ. He sank. So if we want to be in perfect peace, our minds have to be stayed upon Christ, upon his character. And this is what Peter was able to experience. And God kept him in perfect peace. He was kept above the trials of life. He was kept above the turmoil beneath. Friends, God wants to keep you in perfect peace. Do we trust him? Are our minds stayed upon him day and night? Are we seeking to be more like his character? To have his character fully in us? This is my prayer and encouragement that you can find and be kept in God's perfect peace. And it is a peace that is above the storm. God bless.